Hi, I'm Trey, and this is my YouTube channel, Trey's Myths and Tunes, all about the stories, mythology, and truth we live and go with and recreate. Today, I have a question for you. What are you going to do when you find out your hero has a covert narcissistic entity? I mean, I need another hero. Y'all know that we don't need another hero. I got the soul, get the gnosis in. The only one that can rescue me is the Christ within. What are you going to do if you find out your hero has a covert narcissistic interdimensional parasite entity? Well, I have a dear friend of mine. And um, they run a business feeding people. They love to, to feed the people. And so they claim to be a born-again Christian, I guess what Mark Passio would call a churchian, except they don't go to church very much. They're too busy working to pay their insane property tax. Um, but for years I've noticed after my Buddhist studies, that they would qual qualify as what the Buddhists would call um, delusional basic temperament. In other words, they would get distracted. They're very loving, but they get confused really easily. Um, a mutable uh, sign. I'm sure some of you will know who I'm talking about. The, uh, the zodiac sign, uh, Virgo, and Libra rising, and they. It, I, as I said in the video yesterday, I, I felt like it was a non-sexual love bite. Like they thought they had to be my mommy. Um, but in the back, in the the history of my life, in the background, we have to think about how, as I've said before, the financial systems are extremely predatory, and, and the influence of sa Satan and Saturn, um, the false happiness of the idea that money can make you temporarily happy, like. Some of these people think they're right now their welfare check is going to make them happy and then they're miserable when they run out. Or the idea that this person could give me money or motel room or give me a bunch of food and, you know, that could make me happy or be some kind of balanced situation um, is just, it's kind of a, it's a false happiness. Okay. You, when your belly's full or when you, in this case, when you have this hero complex, when you feed the person, you feel happy. When you haven't fed them, you feel sad. So it's a false giving and taking of happiness. Uh, very common. Uh, both the welfare and cannabis could easily fall into these um, tendencies unless the individual has the self-respect to take upon some initiative to take care of themselves, to give back, to work, to play, to better themselves. Um, so the tarot card for Virgo is the hermit. So the, often the person with the zodiac sign, unless they're totally enlightened, they're very loving, and amazing, generous, open, friendly, your best friend, but then they'll go off to their personal space for a very long time. Thus that right away card is the hermit and they will always want to keep a part of themselves to themselves so that their shadow their violence so i as a teenager i thought well the archetype 
for this sign must be Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde because they have this Mr. Hyde side. And um, what I want to say to all of them that are not willing to face their shadow work or face me on this level of an equal friend is that uh, I need the part of you that you refuse to admit or see to be your friend now in this ascension. I can't, I can be your distance acquaintance, but that's it because I'm not going to be able to be your friend when you have to hide these parts. And, and that's why, you know, it's the, the child or the mother. And so the, so this person actually had the same sun and moon as the state of, of California, which also is Virgo Scorpio in the moon. So the Scorpio in the moon ties it to the old world, the money. But also their their negative judgments about you, their ego religious dogma. Um, if somebody's rescuing you simply by um, giving you money, giving you a job, giving you housing, giving you sex or whatever it might be. What are the chances of them being a bodhisattva that just want to teach you how to be enlightened? Uh, slim, right? There's usually a shadow. There's usually something they're hiding from themselves. And um, so when you look at, I mentioned in my, in my video about a theacus, um, the precision of the equinox, if you consider the new zodiac, um, so the Virgo could easily be transferred that it's Leo in the September. So when you think about it, both signs have the hero um, archetype that can easily become perverted into the narcissist because of their perfectionism, because they could be really talented, have a high IQ, be really loving, really generous, really want to help out everyone and shine their light on everyone. But it has to come from them. See, the shadow is the little me, the ego. It's only halfway through the wheel because it's that point of ego strength, you know. And um, So all negative judgments, all religious dogma is going to, can often cause this to happen. Um, and this person often, unless they're totally enlightened, there will not be equanimity. There will be a mental hierarchy that the person who has more money or their husband or their best friend, their business partner or their child or their mom is, has more. They'll never put everyone equally. It's always going to be this hierarchy. I mean, that's not nature for a lot of people, but again, it's the reptilian's nature. So... I agreed to this codependency, and uh, you know, when I looked at a at astrology um, relationship chart with my mother when I was nineteen, you know, as I said, it said be very weary of um, these institutions and uh, official opinions and so forth, and uh, get second and third opinions, and uh, so uh, codependency, and it turns out this person has four grown children and uh, a, a husband with a severe narcissistic entity, if not um, the double um, Aquari Aquarius, double Aries, um, very egocentric by nature from the Bay Area, right? So I saw enough signs of this severe NPD that I, I've had a few opportunities to go all the way out to their farm and I declined also because I don't have a phone no automobile I think is why he, he rejects me I've only met him um, for t five or ten minutes several times in the, all these years I've been helping them so I believe he hides because he's very talented he's doing a lot of good work but he has some severe um, you know ego uh, thing you know and uh, there's just been a, a handful of signifiers right so i've just the mercury and capricorn retrograde to protect myself i keep distance from uh, egomaniacal or even verbally abusive people when i see a lot of signs of it and um, not to be judgmental uh, but supposedly they're both born again so you know a year or two a couple years ago when i mentioned aliens or um, and around the same time i mentioned the word magic and they both tended to seem to trigger her so, which are also signs that, you know, of the, um, the love bite, she might have this love bite for me in the atmospheric river. It was, um, you know, she had to give me, uh, buy me a motel. She felt so guilty. Again, I told her, you don't have to, but she has a Libra rising. And I just decided, um, well, this person really wants to help me. So I went and got a room and I made my video about, you know, the Hegelian dialect which I was somewhat pleased with the results of, um, so 
When your hero has a covert narcissistic entity, they must be the source of rescue. Okay, so that means they're not going to like help you out. It's, you know, this is the thing about this whole Bible, Bible thumperism, born again, pseudo churchians, as Mark Passio calls. They always give you a hand out, not a hand up. They subconsciously think of you as a heathen. They subconsciously think you of as a low, a low life urchin um, who they're helping up to bring up to the world of dogma and fear and guilt, to bring up to the world of exoteric authority, right? Well, that's not really being brought up. Because I'm a Gnostic Christian, I've so often tried to encourage her to think outside of that box and to consider the real Christ. And that um, I could see within her eyeballs and her husband's texting that that tended to really uh, provoke the distance between us even more, of course, because it's not going to be accepted by these mental um, disrespectful power structures at all. Because I, the, the Gnostic brings puts a torch fire of the Christ to those fake structures. Well, you know, it's part of the victim victimizer program. You know, the, the churchian's handout um, in society. Um, your beliefs are too weird, i.e., uncontrollable. In other words, when they're pretty certain your beliefs are uncontrollable, it's like uh, you got to talk. Stay over here. Um, in society, freedom is bad and ugly. Think about the, the village in Santa Cruz by the, the court chambers when they allowed the people to, to sleep there for free, how disgusting and drug-ridden it was. And, um, this is what they want. The society wants people to think of freedom as. Uh, rescue, including churchians, is reaching down to help, makes you hologramically less as a result. Um, you're, okay, so this person... Until they heal this tendency, you know, they're going to move on to somebody else when I'm out of the picture. But they have to rescue someone because this energy parasite is going to excite them to trauma bonding. Uh, so that whenever a disaster or something horrible happens, um, they can pretend to be rescuing someone when it's really to pump up their ego and to feed this covert, hidden, hidden narcissistic, um, parasitic, interdimensional entity. And that's why they can't ever watch any of my YouTube videos as much as they claim to love me so much, you know. And, it's, it, and I mean no disrespect in any of this. I, I'm, I'm trying to do the, the dirty work of helping these people to clean. And it's not, I'm not trying to play confessional or rat out my friends. I'm trying to clear it out here. I know it's an extremely tall order, but... Um, I believe, again, the future is not about the age of transhumanism or transsexualism. It's transparency, transcendence, using Satan. Don't let Satan use you. Use Satan to become clear. Use Satan to, to transcend Satan. Transcendence. So this parasite wants trauma bonding, and it likes the belittlement. When you get in a verbal argument or when this narcissistic husband would call her or the other person working who's trying to dominate her egoically would call and say, you got to go meet me and go, go. The anxiety of, of being the hero um, feeds this thing and it likes that. And so at one time they told me, oh, I don't have any friends. And another uh, huge red, red flashing sign. And so I'm like, well, why? I'm thinking, well, why don't you have any friends? You are friends. That you're rescuing hundreds of people, right? Because it, it has to isolate you and, you know, again, this, this entity has to make you the hero. So, so you could easily say, well, making these videos, do I suffer from this? Well, you know, I'm seeing this in other people. Perhaps I'm, you know, it's helping me to heal this. But participating, realistically sharing in clarity without fear, without hiding the ugly part of myself. That's part of how I've, I'm healing it. Um, the exoteric hero is always a subtle torture, okay? Again, the, the, the ascension process, the Gnostic awakening is always an inside job. You're not going to get it from that person that says, Oh, let me rescue you. Oh, let me be your mommy. Let me be your Pollyanna. Let me be your everything. And especially if it's a possibly a love bite where you're never going to get to live with them, even let alone have sex, let alone really open up. It's... It's a controlled reality. They're still in the control. They just don't want to admit it's that extensive. Uh, it takes total forgiveness 
um, to not relapse, to, to heal this.